Cruiserweight title is on the line. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. So here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? for this heavyweight championship fight. Four years, the difference in age between these two fighters with similar height, but big differences in reach. All right, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Regina, Saskatchewan, Canada, presenting the challenger, Brock Lesnar! And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of Two losses. He stands six feet one is tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Chicago, Illinois. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. C. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. Ready? Ready? Well, good to have you with us tonight from T-Mobile Arena, the home of the NHL's Vegas Golden Knights and the building in which DC shot some of the MMA world at UFC 226. Oh. So holding on to him here, not doing a ton, perhaps just looking to recover. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh, big elbow. Oh, big knee. Now goes in and secures the takedown. He landed the right hand there. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by CM Punk. Nice hammer fist. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. 
he's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. CM Punk getting peppered here from the top. He's got to figure out a way to cover up. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by CM Punk. Nowadays, you see guys just throwing little shots. Ground and pound strike is true. Now he's attacking the triangle. Triangle looks pretty tight, DC. I'm no Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt, but maybe not good here. No, it looks like it's getting in deep. Watch triangle, watch triangle. Get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch his chest go to the mat. He goes to the All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Now try to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. The kimura is not the arm. It's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. But now DC trying to isolate an arm. Yep, he's using the Kimura. And this might just be a matter of time. He got it. He got it, John. How about it? He gets the win by submission. Beautifully executed there on the ground. as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submission. So there he is, the baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion of the world, a title that every heavyweight wants. He has it after the win by submission here tonight. He leaned on the grappling, and he got the job done in a big way. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliana calls a stop to this contest at four minutes, 17 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out. And still! Still the baddest man on the planet, and now with another highlight for the real, the heavyweight champion submits the number one contender here tonight, and now tonight, I'm not sure we've ever seen him perform more cleanly or more efficiently than he did here tonight. Your heavyweight champion.